So this is painting for the hair. Now the hair I'm going to do in two uh, tones. I'm going to do a darker tone which is this uh, Mr. Color Sand Yellow and my uh, top tone which is the blonde I have pre-mixed here. Um, this is to get a shading effect. Now that my face is painted, um, I've clear coated her eyes as well as flat coated the rest of her, the head. So this is what you know, her face looks like. I'm going to glue her, the back side of her head to her, um, to the hair. And I'm just using this usual epoxy glue for this. And since it's not really a load bearing part, I'm just gonna, without any pins, sit this in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna mask off her face, like put a piece of masking um, or perfume here and attach this, the front piece of hair. The uh, reason I'm gonna do that is so that I could go ahead and fix this seam right here. Well, this seam right here. Um, I usually don't like the way it is. I usually don't like the way the seam looks. So I'm gonna seal that up uh, with a oh, probably with the. I'm gonna seal this up with light curing putty, fix this, and then go ahead and paint the rest of this the hair, uh, including the shading. I painted the uh, previous color, the, the darker tone first, because it's gonna be easier for me to work with as separate pieces. But now. Once I glue this together, I'm going to paint it as a whole piece so that you don't see this tonal difference that, you know, you can see between the two pieces of hair. This is darker than that. So this will help balance this out a little bit. I finished masking off the rest of um, her face by using some sticky tack in here and over here to mask off the ears and hopefully I got all that masked off decently be a shame if I missed it just a small sanity check there so now that that's done I could go ahead and fix this head seam here that goes right along this I'm going to avoid sticking that. I'm just going to come along this and fill this area in all with uh, light curing putty.
So now that I have the putty applied to the head seam, I'm going to go ahead and apply my light to it. This should be cured by now. So wipe away the excess fluid. And now I could take my sanding stick and start sanding this down. So now this part should be ready for some priming to check if that seam is still there or if there's any other defects on this hairpiece. So I've primed this and I can see that the seam is still visible. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start sanding 
down the areas where I still see the seam and hopefully that will fix this. This is my custom blonde that I mixed. I'm gonna use for uh, the hairpiece. So, in similar fashion, I'm just gonna spray a light misting coat, and I'm just gonna go here, head and shade. And here we have our blonde. I've uh, gloss coated these pieces. I finally got these parts painted after having some trouble with the paint lifting. The uh, reason for that was the part wasn't really clean. After my fourth time, I took a deep look at the the part and noticed that there was a decent amount of um, mold release that was still on there so that needed to be you know scrubbed and sanded away. So now I've uh, clear coated this in a gloss you can see that they're quite shiny and what I'm going to do now is apply a wash and this is the solution here and the wash was created by using mixing uh, to me a gloss black and just a thinner and it make it makes kind of an inky solution so I could go in here and kind of touch some of these line areas and create a little bit of a some definition there um, I'm not going to worry about getting outside the lines too much because I could come in here with a paper towel and clean up that when I'm done with this process. So what this does is this kind of lines everything and some of the areas between the masking may be a little rough and this kind of helps hide that a little bit by you know, adding some almost almost as a anime inking between colors and for some of these um, silver pieces <coughs> I'm 
Maybe some of these missed areas were maybe got a little bit of paint chipping. I could kind of hide that by applying this wash. I'm using black here. I could use uh, several different colors if I want. But since I'm an anime figure, I'm just going to use the black to line this. I'm just going to let this sit for a little bit while I work on the next piece. Another piece is her um, butterfly um, decoration on her hair. Grab it like this. And it's got some kind of grooves in it so I could... It, I've painted this with a clear blue and I've gloss coated this. So I could come in here with the you know, with this wash solution and just kind of dip it into the lines and they should run themselves Now, what well you saw, I just <clears throat> kind of ran my Q-tip over it just to clean it up a little bit. What I really want to do is let this dry for a little bit of time so that I could uh, the the lines inside will be dry and I could go ahead and easily wipe away the outside. So I'm just gonna leave this alone and come back to this. In a little while to clean it up. What I did earlier was also because I'm coming down to this, um, applied some panel lines here and I masked off this uh, her bangle just so that I could flat coat the rest of her arm. And now I just unmask this. And you can see that this stays shiny and the rest of it has been flat coated. I could go ahead and paint off the rest of the details like her fingernails. Here I've mixed a um, dark pink that I'm going to use to just paint her fingernails. And since this is an enamel based paint, if I do mess up, I could go ahead and erase this using some paper towel and the enamel thinner. And it won't hurt the base layer of the paint here. Now if the paint gets a little too thick, I can always add a little bit of thinner to 
you know, thin it out a little bit and make it easier to paint. And there her fingernails are done. So this has dried for a little bit and I have some a little bit of lighter fluid in here and along with a q-tip loaded up with the lighter fluid I could go in here and just clean up some of the excess paint from the from the um, I could use this to clean up the excess paint from when I applied the wash and clean up the lines a little bit. I also use a piece of uh, paper towel to run through here and clean it up. Apply just a small amount of lighter fluid. I could just run along the edges and clean up any of the rough, rough spots. And we have this. And when I'm done with this, whoops, I can go ahead and flat coat this, and this part will be done. The butterfly piece has had some time, a little bit of time to dry. So, come in and just lightly wipe the surface. And this will pick up some of the excess um, and this will pick up some of the excess uh, wash solution and we'll have nicely drawn in lines. Now I could take my uh, some black paint and paint the, the edges. What I'm doing now is I'm taking my sharpie and just drawing in the edges of this butterfly. This will save me from having to mask and paint this. And there, her butterfly piece is completed.